the knockout event to help first responders and their families. Yeah, the 36th annual Budweiser Guns and Hoses put local police officers and firefighters head to head in the ring. Our Melanie Johnson has more on the cause going beyond boxing. An annual battle of camaraderie. Red versus blue. Firefighters squaring up against police officers at the Guns and Hoses boxing fundraiser. This is the best way we can do it. Hazelwood police officer Ryan Counterman is now a coach and has fought inside the ropes for the past 10 years. This is on their own time. This is, you know, they do this when they're not working and it takes a lot. They all want to win, but it doesn't matter. In the 36 years of the event, the bouts have raised $11 million to give financial peace of mind for first responders who run toward danger and the ones they love. Where would we be if we didn't have them? Proceeds going to the organization Backstoppers. The executive director says it continues to be a safety net for the families of the area's bravest. We owe it to them to do this for them, you know, that their loved one sacrificed their life in the line of duty and uh, now we got to take care of that family. It was also important to remember two fallen first responders. One of them was a Herman police officer killed in line of duty back in March. His partner finally making his return back home after months of rehab coming back this week. We know we're going to take care of him forever. A bell of valor rang to remember the heroes who gave the ultimate sacrifice. The faces of Sergeant Mason Griffith and firefighter Lloyd Rudiger unveiled during a special ceremonial 10 count. One of the toughest part of a fire chief's job is talking to a widow, um, talking to the father of a fallen firefighter. Families of those men and women who put their life on the line also there as a reminder of what these men are fighting for. Helping the fallen heroes, wives, husbands, children, taking away all their worries when something, when they lose the most important part of their life. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. It's a pretty impressive crowd there too. There is still time for you to donate. If you'd like to help the families of local first responders, you can do so by visiting backstoppers.org.